Hello everybody! Welcome to another watercolor tutorial. If it isn't obvious, we are painting a flamingo today. So I, my best advice would just to like Google a silhouette of a flamingo and then trace it onto your piece of paper. You're more than welcome to freehand it if you so dare. But once you've done that, you're gonna erase it. I know this part is annoying, but we're doing this because we want to see the silhouette, like I want to be able to see it so that I can paint the flamingo, but I want it light enough so that it doesn't show through the watercolor paint, since watercolor paint is quite transparent or translucent. So see, I can still see the outline of my flamingo, but that will look much better underneath the, you know, very light pink watercolor that we're going to be using. So we've got a couple of options with this flamingo. You know, we can just paint the entire flamingo as is. Alternatively, we can um, make it nice and funky, like add really cool flowers coming out of it. And back in the day, like years ago, I would say 10 years ago, when I didn't do watercolor tutorials online, but I just painted, um, I, my style was very whimsical an animals and, you know, things would be coming out of them like flowers and butterflies and stuff. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do for this flamingo. Um, and it doesn't, you know, our tracing doesn't uh, change at all, regardless of how you do it. So I'm going to have flowers coming out of my flamingo and this tail portion is going to be a few flower petals too. So you do generally want to follow the shape of your flamingo when you're doing this. So I'm going to prepare some colors for myself here. I'm going to be using a magenta, a pink, maybe a little bit of red, definitely black for the beak. Um, you know, we can add colors as we go, but I'm going to start with a nice pink and I'm going to start with the tail. So this tail seems to have two, it ends in like two feathers almost. So I'm going to make each one of those feathers a separate um, petal, flower petal. Like so. So you can see I'm still following the contour of the flamingo, but I'm making it into a flower. And our flowers can be wonky, like the petals of the flowers, you can make them shaped all odd. It doesn't have to be perfect. So my flower petals are going to be a little bit shorter. I'm going to close up here so you can see what I'm doing a little bit better. So I'm going to have a flower petal that starts there. Another one that goes out like this. So do you see what we're doing here? We're just we're painting a flower, but we're modifying the petals of it so that they follow the shape of the flamingo body. Like so. So there's my first flower, and you know, I can put anything in the center of that flower, so I'm going to pick up a nice yellow pigment and just plop that in the center. Uh, actually, I'm going to make it a little more orange so that it stands out. Like that. And then we can continue on. So my next one, I'm going to change the color a little bit and I'm going to use a nice magenta for this next one and I'm gonna have my next flower starting here it's gonna overlap a little bit 
but again, I'm following the shape of the flamingo. I have another flower petal. When you're, when you're in the body of your flamingo, it's a lot easier because you can just extend the flower petals really long. So you can see my flower petals are very simple. They're just, they're not anything realistic looking because we're going for a very whimsical look here. So, and I'm just going to fill in these sections here with, um, you know, a nice yellowy orange color. So you can definitely do this too, you know, have two layers of petals coming from a single flower. This just helps fill in some of that extra space. Like so. So it's really starting to come together now, which is great. Um, you can water your colors down substantially as well. If you don't have multiple colors of pink, that's okay. You can just water your one color down so that it's lighter than the others. <clears throat> um, but I actually, I was going to do that, but I don't want to do that anymore. I am going to grab like a, a blue now. I'm going to have another flower coming up like this. You know what, I changed my mind again. I don't want a blue flower because later I'm gonna be painting on pink as the background. So uh, what I'm gonna do is add a little bit of pink or red would work too and turn this into like a deep purple if possible. Right, because blue and red make purple. That'll have to do. I'll just, um, I'll pick up like a true purple now. I don't use purple very often in my paintings, I don't think. Because I, I tend to err on the side of landscapes, so there aren't really many naturally purple things in landscapes. Okay, it's coming together. So I am focusing these flowers on the body of my flamingo because, you know, the legs are so thin that it would be quite challenging to paint um, anything there. But I mean, if you're painting this on a larger scale and you want to tempt that, then by all means, 
but I just could not be bothered. So I'm going to do something. You'll see what I'll do in a bit. But just take your time with this. I'm getting a little impatient. Unfortunately, that's just how I am. And I'm starting to be a little careless with my petals. I'm going to have another one over here. Okay, so I think I'm generally happy with, you know, how that turned out. Um, I might just add one more petal or flower or something in the center portion just to fill it in. Like so. Okay, so what we're gonna do now, I was using my size one brush there. I, I don't remember if I mentioned that earlier. And I'm gonna continue using it. I might switch to my size eight. But what I'm gonna do is start filling in the actual flamingo with pink watercolor. So I'm just focusing on the true color of a flamingo. And I'm being mindful to leave a white gap in between the solid color and the flowers that I've painted. So I'm just <clears throat> extending that head, or the neck to the head, and I don't have a picture of a flamingo in front of me right now, but I know that their beaks are sort of black, I think, if I'm not mistaken, or at least maybe they're orange? Gosh, I don't remember. I think they do kind of transition into an orange, so I'm going to do that and see what it looks like. By all means, use an image of a flamingo from the internet uh, if you want to be more accurate than what I'm doing here. I'm just adding orange. That looks about right, I think. <coughs> Maybe a little bit of yellow. I think that looks good. It's hard to say. Alright, um, I really hope that the feet are also pink. Mm, so we have to be a lot more careful for the legs because they're super duper thin. It might be easier to switch to your one of your thinnest brushes for extra control. I'm going to just try cruising with this size one.
Oh my gosh, that wasn't even on. Something like that. And then the other guy. I can't really see my original sketch of the legs of this flamingo. So here I'm just going in and filling in the white space. Which you certainly don't have to do. I'm just using a very watered down pink to just fill in some of the gaps, but I'm still leaving a nice uh, white gap in between everything. Or trying to. <laughs> like that. I'm just going to finish off the leg here. We're in the home stretch. Although it needs an eyeball. Okay, I'm gonna zoom out so you can see the full thing. Not too bad, not too bad. A nice little whimsical look for that body portion. Um, so I'm gonna just add a little eye over here. But I realized that a flamingo actually, the beak kind of goes like this. Like it kind of turns white almost. Um, so I am extremely tempted and I have succumbed to my temptation to use acrylic paint and paint a white, uh, I don't even know what this is, like just a white feature that extends around the eye because that's I just I just looked up an image to make sure that I hadn't totally screwed up and that's what it kind of looks like so that's what I've done here but you don't have to do that like the point of this guy was to create that really nice whimsical look so So there we go. That is our flamingo. I, I really hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, I know it's a little bit different because I usually do landscapes and whatnot, but I wanted to change it up a bit. So if you enjoyed it, let me know in the description, hit subscribe, or no, hit like, <laughs> subscribe to my channel, and I hope to see you in the next tutorial.